FBI break their own rules? House Intel Chair Devin Nunes alleging the FBI may have violated internal procedures by using the unverified Trump dossier in its FISA application. In a letter to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Nunes alleges, quote, basic operating guidance was violated. Here now is Bill McGurn. He's a columnist for the Wall Street Journal, and his dad was an FBI agent, uh, so he's got a lot of respect for the agency. But boy, oh boy, it looks like they were slipping a lot here. Yeah. Uh, look, the bigger question is, did they put forward information in a misleading way, you know, basically lying to a court? This is part of it. You know, they're not supposed to use information. They haven't verified, I think, one of the... Let me, let me just quote from right. the... This is from the FBI's 2011 Domestic Investigations and Operations Guide. It says, only documented and verified information may be used to support FBI applications to the FISA court. And this is important because the FBI director, Comey, uh, said the following about the Trump dossier, which was used to get a FISA warrant. Take a listen. I didn't FISA use the court? term counterintelligence. I was speaking to him and briefing him about some salacious and unverified material. Verified. He was talking there about the Trump dossier. He called it unverified, and the FBI's own report says you have to use verified material. Right, and, and Mr. Comey was speaking months after they had applied for the warrant. Look, there are a lot of questions. I think what we need is disclosure right now. We need to see the FBI application to the FISA court. I believe the judge said there's no reason that the Trump administration couldn't make it public. We have so many questions, and it's been so hard to dig out information, even in the Trump administration. You know, remember when uh, Mr. Nunes was asking for this information in the witnesses? Both the new FBI director, Christopher Wray, and Rod Rosenstein, deputy attorney general, went to Paul Ryan trying to make an end run around him. That, that really needs to stop. I don't know why, why the president has been so reluctant to release information right. that so far has largely exonerated seems, him. Seems like he's going to have to eventually. And some people actually are going beyond the FBI and saying that, that there's so many questions about the FISA court. It's, it, it's apparently so easy, or at least it was in this case, to spy on Americans that maybe you should just get rid of it. Mark Levin said that uh, speaking last night on Fox News. Play the tape. It's time to abolish the FISA court. It's time to create a new a counterintelligence-related court. It should not consist of existing federal judges. They should be confirmed, not for life terms, for given terms. The FBI and the Justice Department, when they go no. into that court, should not be alone anymore. Should we scrap FISA? Uh, I, I, I think yes. In fact, I'm quite proud that the Wall Street Journal has had that position since the FISA courts were established. Look. It was designed to give some judicial overview to executive decisions, but the result of it is there's no accountability. Who's responsible for this war? Is it, is it the FBI with misleading statements? Is it the judge? We don't know. In, in it's fact, all secret we, stuff. We don't know. It's all secret, and there's, there seems to be no accountability. So uh, I, I think it's time for it do to you, go. Do you think there is enough movement in, in Congress to, to get rid of it? Not yet, but I think... Again, I think as we learn more, we only have a fraction of the material sought. You know, the inspector general is going to give us a lot more information on the Hillary investigation by the yeah. FBI. But it was many of the same players, right? And he's been investigating for a year. So we only, we only know a fraction, and they've been very reluctant to release documents and make their officials available to Congress mm. um, to, to ask questions of. Bill McGurn from the Wall Street Journal. Thanks, David. Have a great weekend.